she won all sorts of awards. Now she's happily married to old, what's his name? Oh, and it really helps my memory. <laughs> Just drop it, okay? What's the scene here, folks? A producer's coming to see the show! Producer? 
You mean someone wants us to take part part of the dumplings on tour? Nobody said anything about a tour. So why is the producer interested in seeing the show? It's just a no. To JD. Who's JD? Nobody. Nobody? Nobody gets a note here? Nobody gets more mail than I do. Well, she does. That's right. <laughs> so she has the backer coming to take the show on tour? Or maybe even her? Oh, what do you mean? How about taking the show to the Great White Way? This from the Great White Shark. All right, uh, what's JD stand for? Juvenile Delinquent? Junior Development? Jack Daniels. Hey, I went to college. <laughs> Did you hear? What? Nothing. We're going to Broadway. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought you paid for money. <laughs> you are. Lucille Bombay. I can tell you anything you need to know. People ask me all sorts of questions around here. Yeah, like, how are you? Will you move your car? You understand? <laughs> Why are you going to be the girl thing? He gets the idea. Look, you got a tip for this notorious criminal, wanted by the FBI, made you pursue your own habits. She used to be an actress. You can't get people away from the stage. That kind of thing. And you think she's here? We're we'll checking out the theaters in the area. Her name is Phoebe Switzerland. There's no one around here with that name. Don't be too sure, Missy. She's probably using the alien. What does she look like? Well, that's a problem. That bat, huh? We just have a good picture of her. She's a master of disguises. She's a clever fellow she is. She can make her look so she can make herself look very young or very old. Taller or even shorter. She even goes as a man. Could be wearing a beard or be walking with a lift. In short, she can be anybody or anywhere. Then how will you know when you catch her? Well, she has one fault. Whatever she's on stage, she forgets her arms. Shoot, you might as well let us this off. Last <laughs> hit? That's all you have? One more thing. One vital clue. And that is? I'll tell you. She's allergic to roses. Anybody been sneezing lately? <laughs> what does she want it for? Murder. Oh my oh. god! She had a desperate number, all right. She keep your eyes up, keep your ears open and your eyes out. She can be under your very noses. You don't need a detective. You need an ear, nose, and truck doctor. <laughs> hey, everybody! Look at what we just got me! Throw this! He's packing! Hit the deck! <laughs> <laughs>
feeling well, you know? I feel fine. What's all the ruckus over how I'm feeling? That's all everybody keeps on asking. Jerry brought me some chicken soup last night, and tonight I found an industrial sized bottle of ice cream on my clipboard. And who left the hospital brochures? Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere, and generally dressed like us. Will you stop? I'm fine, okay? It's her blood pressure. It's not my blood pressure! Hold on my down for a minute. If somebody asks me that one more time, do I have this all right? I can't believe this is 
You don't mind going on a date with Dr. Shaw. Oh, now you're out of me. Just find out what the story is and get back to it. If anyone can talk about it, some of this place, you can. Besides, it'll give the group something else to talk about. Besides telling the story of the murder of Lucy Peter and Alvin. One of these days, I'm going to get a social life. But for now... <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I brought along a little peace offering. A little old Peter? I just don't have to show you shouldn't have.
Are you okay? Did Gracie come out here? <laughs> she must have. I 
think so, yeah. How about we go get a burger? Good idea. <laughs>
Okay. 